So I have opened up Premiere Pro and I'm going to select New Project. And I have to give this a name. And under ingest settings, I'm going to select create proxies. So what happens is when you import your video clips, so mine are going to be in 4K video, which are big high resolution clips. Uh, Premiere Pro is going to create these lower resolution substitutes. They're going to be like the stunt doubles. And we're going to do all the editing with the lower resolution clips. And that will help our computer be able to handle everything real time. So like when we're scrubbing through the video, that's going to be smoother. When we put effects on the videos, everything's going to happen faster. It just helps your overall computer performance while you're using Premiere Pro. And then when you export the video, it will do all of those things that you did, all the editing and everything will, you know, will be applied to the original high resolution clips. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. So in the bottom left corner, we're going to import our media. So I've just got uh, three clips and the audio file. I'm just going to drag them over. So just to be clear, um, I only used one camera to shoot these three clips. And, you know, I can't play a song perfectly each time so that they're all synced up perfectly. So the way to do that, the way to get multiple camera angles with only one camera is to pre-record the audio. So that's what this file is. I pre-recorded the audio and I made it sound good. I did the post-production, you know, I added reverb and all that good stuff. So that that is my really good sounding audio. And then on the video clips, I played along with the audio. So I, I use my phone, I play the audio clip, and then I, you know, I'm recording the video and I play along to that clip and I try to sync my fingers to the audio. So it's like you're lip syncing, except instead you're finger syncing, okay? And um, the camera is capturing, you know, the camera has its own microphone, so it's capturing that audio too. And then Premiere Pro is gonna take the audio from the camera and the pre-recorded audio, and it's going to use those two files to sync up everything all together. Okay. Now, before I do that, I usually take each clip separately, and I like to uh, edit the coloring. I might trim the, trim the clips up, uh, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to show you how do you just jump in and get started. So... I'm going to uh, select all of these clips, including the audio file. And I'm going to right click and then click on Create Multi Camera Source Sequence. So I'm going to give it a name, Multicam. And it wants to know how, how do I synchronize these clips together. And I'm going to always choose audio. So that's going to tell it to sync it with this audio clip. Click OK, and uh, processes it. It's going to create a new video for us that has all those clips kind of embedded. So here's our new video. It's called Multicam. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to place it in the timeline. So here's um, a video. So you've got video on top, audio on the bottom. This audio clip is the pre-recorded audio. So all the camera audio is thrown away. All right. And I can see here where that audio starts. You know, if I resize these, it makes it easier to see. And I'm just gonna kind of trim this down to where kind of where the video starts or close to where the audio starts. Whoops. 
and I can do that at the end as well. I can kind of see where does the video end. Looks like there. I'll stop the stream, so I'm going to stop it there. All right. So in this tray, there's a button that says Toggle Proxies. So I'm going to click that. That's going to tell uh, Premiere Pro that I want to use proxies. Okay. And then I have another viewing uh, option. It says Toggle Multicamera. If you don't have this button, you can click this button editor plus sign and you can go find that button and add it. And there's other buttons if you want to play around with this. But I'm going to click this toggle multi camera view and it's going to show me all my camera angles. So another thing you want to look at is the playback resolution. You don't really need full resolution on the playback either. So I like to use a quarter. So if I've got a quarter resolution, that's also going to help the performance. So I want proxies, and I don't need to see the full resolution um, on these playbacks. You know, these screens are smaller anyway. I don't need uh, I don't need 4K view here. All right, so I'm going to choose uh, which camera I want to start with. So I can... Uh, I've got this clip selected so I can just click that camera and it'll change the camera and you can see the name of this changed to MC2, that's multi-camera angle 2. When I hit play, I can watch the video and I'm looking for places where it makes sense to make a cut and go to a different camera angle. See it change the camera angle. I want to change it again. When I hit stop, you can see that. Premiere Pro has made these cuts. And when I scrub back through, I can see that those cuts have been made. And all of these clips are synced together with that audio. They're always going to be in sync. Now the things that I'm looking for are places where I naturally think the, you know, the video should be cut. And I'm also looking for places where my finger syncing doesn't look very good. You know, if I get off when I'm trying to play along with the audio, if I, you know, if I mess up, then I can choose a different camera angle uh, to fix that, to cover it up. So I got three angles here to choose from. And I can go through and, and edit it. You can also make manual cuts. So there's a uh, razor tool here. If I want to make a cut here, then I just click there and that cuts the video. But you see, uh, it didn't change the camera number, so I can say right click this camera and go to multi-camera angle and choose a different camera. So I'm gonna choose camera angle three. So there I made a manual cut, but I like to watch the video and cut it real time. And then I will go back and make adjustments. If you feel like you've clicked in the wrong place and you don't want the cut there, you can adjust these. You know, I could move this to here. Maybe I want the cut to happen there. And then I can stretch that one back out uh, to fill in the gap. All right, so that's how you get started making multi-camera angle videos in Premiere Pro. All right, guys, good luck with your videos. I'm gonna go in more depth uh, on little techniques that I use in my editing um, later on. So look out for that. All right, see you guys.